Yeah, 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 uh, we back at it, we back at it, we back at it with another action figure review. And this time, we back at Hasbro, G.I. Joe Retro, Retro Card, I guess, or Retro Throwback, Walmart exclusive, Gun Ho. Yeah, the Gun Ho we was waiting for. Yeah, the gun hole we was all waiting for. I know I was waiting for him. Yeah, let's see. Get him down here. And um, to let y'all know, this packaging came beat up. It was packaged in a, like a plastic bag and then it come in a box. So I hope everybody else's looks a lot better than this. I got two. I wanted to keep one on card, but they did a good job with the uh, artwork. They switched it up, you know, but it still looks retro. And, um, yeah, the other guys in the wave, if you've been watching San Diego Comic Con and all that, they revealed other people like Zartan and, and um, Storm Shadow and all these other people. So they got the file card, which doesn't say too much. Just in a bunch of different languages, which I don't know, could have been a waste. But this is like, this is flimsy. It's like really thin. Can you see how thin this thing is? It's not even like, I don't know. It's not even thick. This is crazy, bro. But, um, yeah, man, I'll let y'all see the packaging. So if you're going to get them from Walmart, I don't know what to tell you, but... If you get one or two, I guess they're going to send it in that bag. So look for your box coming banged up. The box he came in was worse than that one. So I just said I'll keep that one and keep him on card because I like the way he looks. And, you know, it's hard to, to uh, it's getting hard to collect them with Hasbro because they just re-release so many different figures instead of just giving you one solid one. And they remix them and remix them. And I don't know what the heck's going on, but... What I will say is, um, he was all, he, 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 this one's all right, man. This one's all right. Yeah, this one's all right. You see his accessories there, minus his, uh, bigger stand. Don't know where that's at. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, I'll let you. We're going to start off with the stand. And I got his accessories on him this time because I was, you know, messing around with him. You get the G.I. Joe, the star, and you get the two little pegs for him to sit down. You get a knife that fits in the sheath uh, very well. Let me put it down here so you guys can see it better. Fits in there very well. So shine design there yeah. fits right in there. It's nice and snug. Backpack is official. It looks like the old school back in the day joint with the metal frame. I think it was metal or aluminum. I'm not sure. I'm not military, but I remember seeing them. It's like the straight back, but it looks kind of like. His old one, his old one was like puffy on the side and it was round. Had like things tied up under it, it was round, like his bedding or something, I'm not sure. Oh wait, sorry y'all. There you go. But I like the backpack, I like the colors. This is, this is what we grew up on, man. This is what we talking about. I mean, Hasbro, you can say all you want to, and I'm not trying to pick on Hasbro that you're selling this to kids or whatever. That's bullshit. There ain't no kids. You don't even have a cartoon out or anything. You don't remix it so many times. The only people that's buying these is, is, is guys, you know, older guys, you know what I mean, that remember this from their childhood. So you need to knock it the hell off. Nobody, no kids are buying this shit unless we introduced it to them. So by you got other people, whoever's back there designing, and they're trying to put their spin on it with the space age shit and all that. I don't think that's a good idea, man. I mean, you can switch it up because some of the weapons were old and stuff, I guess. You know, and they're updated now. You, you know, as far as walkie-talkies and different things and headpieces and stuff like that. But come on, man. 
grenade launcher looks good. But this is G.I. Joe right here, bro. This is what, you know, I think a lot of people were waiting for. This type. This is G.I. Joe. You know? I think you should give them the original stuff and then come back and want to do what you want to do. You know, if you got that much creative, you know, ability to do these things. This gun is tiny, but it's all right. Cold blast effect. Can you guys see it? It's kind of blurry, man. Sorry about that. But yeah. Put it in his hands and you can see. It's just a little. He's so big, it's like a backup off me gun. Like, I mean, any gun will kill you, but. Yeah, it looks good in his hand. Small, it's just, you know. Still. Get up, oh man. Then he got the hat. No mohawk. Thank God. No mohawk. And from all the people that been talking online, I guess his hat is now official, official military uh, marine hat. Because before he, he had some other type of hat. I'm not sure. I'm not a military guy like that. But this does look way better on him than the other hat. And it has a little design there. I can't see it, can I? There we go. It's like the tattoo on his chest or something. Same evil thing. Alright, check him out. Check him out. Roadblock, baby. Huh? Articulations. Because I never reviewed the other roadblock. The first one. And I was just about to. Because... Walmart said this was supposed to come in September. So I was like, ah, I already had the other roadblock. I said, you know what, I'm going to open them up. Because when this guy comes, this is the one I want. Get in about that much. Same articulation as the other one. I'm roadblocking everybody. Got the bicep cut. Double elbow. I don't know why he's not pinless. He doesn't have gloves on, so that's that's good. At least they catch him, kept him all the way retro. Nice bed. Back is that much. Die. Bar cut. Double knee. Boot. Boot cut. Ankle. Tilt. Swivel. The whole shabizzle. I like them grenades on the side. And I think they're different than the first offer. Well, I'll say the classified gun hole because this is the retro one all right i like the tat on his chest there much bigger and bolder got the grenades something about the jacket at the bottom there's no seams or nothing i don't know if he's supposed to have like a lining or something or did he cut it i don't really remember but yeah man his head scope even looks a little different because the you know his mustache is his head doesn't look as large as the other guys. This guy, his dome is incredible. But yeah. There it go right here. Oh, oh yeah. My bad, y'all. Okay. Now, we gonna get into the classified, because I know that's what you guys are waiting to see here. So the classified versus the retro. Now, if you was gonna do retro, now this is how you should have done it, like this. I don't agree on you doing. I think you should have just did the the one that everybody knows, the retro one, but. This robe, that this um gun hole is okay, but man, when you match him up against the uh, the original, it's like 
If you were there, you know, man, you know, him, snow job, you know what I mean? Torpedo, the wave, you know, it, 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 you know, it was crazy. We was young, it was crazy. So to see him like that was like pissed off. Like, yo, what the hell is that? We ain't getting no alternate hands. Shitty cop was something else, you know, even though he's retro. You did the retro card back. Semi, I mean, you got him in the same stance, you changed it up a little bit, the cardboard is cheap, it's so flimsy, it needs to be more sturdy, you know, for the people that collect in box, and if you're going to be shipping it all crazy, but that's not their fault, that's Walmart, they just getting them out, so hey, I can't be mad, man, at least they're getting them out, like I said, I was supposed to get in in September, they shipped it to them, they got them out, so hey, I ain't mad, I'm not a, I collect in box, some things I get two of, because I think, you know, I don't want to just mess one up and I think they're that good so I'll grab two every now and then and he was one of them but um yeah as you can see it's basically looks like the same pants and everything not the same grenade things on the side those are totally different jackets different tats different the body's the same head with the see what I mean let me show you See, it's like a different head. It's the same, but it's different. You know what the hell they did? Something in the chin area. All right. They said he looked like Chuck Liddell. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he did though. Yeah, kicking ass, yo, Chuck Liddell. UFC, baby. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, and he has a come with all of these Space Age gadgets. So, I don't know. This gun hole, he might be up out of here, man. They have the same articulation. So, I guess this is. He's going to be in this review, too. I ain't going to do another review. He comes with these weapons, which are futuristic, if you don't know. Don't know what they are. That's a, this gun hole, the classified one not sure really what they are but looking at this now and the way they're going with the the spirit and you know roadblock and everybody I don't want to use this shit the backpack looks good the backpack oh, I always said the backpack is good but to use this guy standing up with him doesn't give me that G.I. Joe feel it gives me a different person like he could just be a backup maybe I'll just have him somewhere and he'll be somebody else you know what I mean and I don't know use him for something else switch him up or kick bash him take him apart and everything you see the size comparison there um, but nah man we're gonna get him yeah good you out of here anyway you can go over here for a minute there buddy and we're gonna get the G.I. Joe's up in here Size comparison. Big roadblock. Huh? Oh, man. Oh, man. See, now, this is looking like G.I. Joe. See what I'm saying? Now, this is looking like G.I. Joe. See what I'm saying? That's what we want. Yeah, now it's looking like G.I. Joe. Huh? Now it's looking like G.I. Joe. We doing good there. We can even put Flynn in there. This is also a size comparison, but I'm just saying, now when you look at it, you want that nostalgia feel. Well, it's, it's coming. It's getting there. I think they're thinking about it. So if you want to do some retro... I understand you did Destro, but you, he looks a little cartoonish. So that's retro slash cartoon. I guess the same thing with this gun hole, too. I don't know. But this is not, this is looking like G.I. Joe. You understand what I'm saying? When I was young, this is looking like G.I. Joe. Yeah, and I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. Huh? Even on Cobra's side, this is looking like G.I. Joe, bro. Come on, man. This is what we was asking for. Love this roadblock. Love this Storm Shadow, too, even if he has gloves on. Hey, 
you know. But they got the retro one coming out without the gloves. Totally same figure, probably some little paint deco, but he has bare hands. Now that you done made this guy with bare hands. But this looks like G.I. Joe. This is what we're talking about. Switched up little things here, but this is what we're talking about. Come on, man. Simple. Simple and plain, man. Simple and plain. See those size comparison. Get my guys in here. Action Force. Huh? Garrison and Steel Brigade Night Ops. Special. Night Ops. Hold on here. But you know, on um, Valibers, they're kind of, they're not tall, but they ain't short either, so. You know, I already know they fit in perfect. You know, if you're new to the channel or not, they fit in perfect with them. Yeah, man, but, um, oh, we got old Duke here who they need to do a retro of badly instead of a Tiger Force. I, I don't know what the hell that was about. I wasn't even messing with Joe's then. I was already out of the loop with the, well, not out of the loop. I seen Tiger Force, but I was already old. I wasn't messing around. But he needs, huh, he got the variant, but he needs to be retro. He should have been before a lot of people. If you, if you ask me, him, Scarlet, they should have been in there. If you're going to retro somebody, that's what you should have did. You know what I mean? Seriously. But that's my review on Walmart exclusive G.I. Joe retro gun ho from Hasbro. I like him a lot, man. I think you could pick him up. I don't know if he's still up on the site. Haven't seen. Like I said, I ordered this a while ago. But... Yeah, man. And, um, like I said, this gun hole, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might kick bash my gun hole. I mean, my, um, excuse me, my other roadblock I got. The one with the first one with all the gold all on them. Give them those legs or something. Switch them up or something. I don't know, but, um, I'll probably make a video on that. But this was a little longer than usual, fellas and ladies and gents. But, um, it was a lot in here. I wanted to do both of them at the same time. So that, you know, that way I could kill two birds with one stone. Really didn't do too much with him because it ain't really, they're the same thing. So the articulation, everything's the same. But thanks again, once again, for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to the tribe, y'all. Subscribe to the tribe, man. Big up to everybody that's locked in, man. And love, peace, and hair grease. Try to stay cool out there. It's hot in NYC. I know it's hot all over. You got these heat waves, man. Try to stay cool, man. And if you're cool, try, try to stay warm, man. <laughs> I see y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.